The 700 to 800 block of State Street will undergo construction this winter. The renovations will update the campus and city hotspot. I think it's one of those iconic spots within the community and you know people who are not students or not affiliated with the university go there a lot or pass through there. So I had to work as a, a destination but also a pass through. From the university bookstore to the bottom of Bascom Hill is actually owned by the city of Madison who is overseeing the $4.9 million project. I think most people in the community don't know that difference or that distinction and they just call it all library mall. So we thought it was important that when we were thinking about the designs for the seven and eight hundred blocks that we collaborated with the university so as we move forward with the design we could try to make both of those spaces the most that they can be. Plans include removing the clock tower and concrete stage in order to add more green space, pedestrian crossings, food truck space, and more seatings. Officials say the redesign will make the iconic space more functional for the public. More seating areas, more tables, um, more areas just to hang out, better lighting, um, more tree canopies, more green space in those areas. Those are the kinds of comments that we've been hearing from people. It's really sort of the community living room where everybody comes together when something happens. Library Mall won't be completed until 2017. However, construction of the 7 and 800 blocks of State Street will be done by next fall. By this time next year, um, the 7 and 800 blocks should be totally, uh, totally completed and we think it'll be a wonderful new space. So, just a little more patience. For the Badger Report, this is Sarah Neubauer.